So here on my desktop, you can see I have uh, two formats of the exact same illustration, both, both of the great state of Texas. So first off, I'm going to right click on the PNG, open it in Adobe Photoshop. In a minute, we will actually use the EPS file. Uh, but real quick, I also want to cover the, uh, the Photoshop, or I'm sorry, the, the PNG format. So I can actually type, uh, with this layer selected, I can type Command U. And that's going to bring up my hue and saturation. On a PC, I believe it would be Control U. And here I can change uh, this to any color that I want to. Um, don't ask me why you'd want Texas purple. Anyway, uh, I can do color overlay on the layers palette as well. I can select color overlay. It's, it's actually dropping down below the, the screen area here. But uh, here I can also select um, any color I want. Uh, click OK. So that's how you can change the color of a PNG file. And I recommend the layer effects because it's non-destructive. In other words, I can come back anytime, double click on this and edit my layer and I never actually lose any uh, image quality or anything like that. So uh, next up, how do we do this uh, in uh, using a, an EPS file? So uh, back in Photoshop here, I'm actually going to move my Photoshop software over to the edge. I'm going to click and drag this EPS file right into Photoshop. Okay, and then I'm going to need to go ahead and scale it up so it uh, fills the screen a little better. And by the way, if you don't know what that checker background is that we're looking at, uh, that's just Photoshop indicating to us that we have a transparent background. So uh, here, this little icon right here, this little document icon, uh, this is showing that this is a, uh, a smart object layer. Uh, in other words, I can scale the heck out of this and I never lose any quality. So here we go. I'll scale this up massive. All right. And then zoom in on it. And it's always going to be perfect quality because it's smart object EPS file placed inside of a Photoshop document. So in a way, it's almost like we have a document embedded inside this Photoshop document. So uh, anyway, to changing the color, uh, we already did this with the PNG. I'm going to click on the layer effects. Uh, icon down over here and then off the screen on the menu here I'll select color overlay and once again I can select any color I want uh, and if you dig uh, this illustration uh, I actually have all 50 states available and there's a link below this video all 50 states hand illustrated uh, so you can grab that collection today if you want uh, anyway, I hope that uh, changing the color here in Photoshop was pretty straightforward for you. I uh, hope this made sense. Hope it was helpful for you on your next design project. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more handy videos like this. And also subscribe to my newsletter uh, as I release more sweet products and tips and freebies as well. So hope this was handy and uh, good luck on your next design project.